okay and then drag your object into the prefab that you made bullet and now you can take the bullet off of your level and it's stored inside the project folder as a prefab so now we can create a script create C sharp script and let's call it um, bullet script All right, I want to make sure this is zoomed in all the way for you guys. Uh, view, yeah, it's all the way zoomed in. All right, we're gonna need uh, two variables. We're gonna need a public rigid body. This is gonna be the uh, prefab that you made, the bullet. You're gonna drag it on top of the open field public makes um, you able to drag objects onto it if it's a uh, rigid body or a game object or something prefab like that it makes it accessible if it was an integer or a float or something you could change the values inside unity without having to come back to the script all right public rigid body and let's give it the name um, my bullet and code comment the bullet prefab drag it here all right and then we need a public transform using transform because we want to get the position of the barrel and that will make the bullet come out of the end of the barrel and once again your transform is right here so you're calling transform and you you're wanting to mess with these values so when you call transform you can use position excuse me dot position dot rotation I think you can use dot scale too. All right, so we, we want a position of something that the barrel. So we want to call it barrel end. In the end of the barrel. Uh, the bullet will shoot out of this position I cannot type position drag the barrel object onto here okay and now we need to make a function that will make the gun fire so let's call that void shoot make the gun shoot and put that into your update function And typically, you do your uh, your inputs and your update functions, and uh, your physics and your fixed update functions. So let's make this thing shoot. Let's start with the if statement. All right. So if input dot get key down. You do this so it doesn't just keep firing all the time. Okay, and then open parentheses key code dot uh, spacebar uh, 
and we have two open parentheses, so you need to close them both. The statements have open and closed brackets always. Okay, and now we want to actually fire the thing. So we need to declare a rigid body again. And we'll call it bullet instance. And we're just going to use this as a reference. And we're going to say bullet instance equals instantiate, which means to make objects appear out of nowhere. Our bullet, we want our bullet to appear. And we want where do we want it to come out of? We want it to come out of the barrel end. Dot position at its position. All right. And we want the barrel ends rotation so it doesn't come out all weird light and flipped around or something like that. And then end it with the uh, parentheses and then type as a rigid body. We're wanting it to be instantiated as a rigid body. Rigid bodies are uh, objects that use physics. Okay, make the bullet appear out of the barrel. Okay, and now it's just going to appear, so we need to give it some force. So once again, we're going to use our instant, our reference, bullet instance, and we're going to do dot add force. This is going to add a force to the bullet. And we're going to say barrel end dot forward. So shoot out of the barrel forward times a, uh, a force. And we might have to tweak this. So we're going to say times uh, my force. And we're going to have to make a variable for that. And then end it. Uh, give the bullet some force to move forward. Okay, I'll go back up here and make public uh, float and call it my force. Uh, tweak how much force is on the bullet when fired. Alright, let's uh, save that. Hopefully there's no errors. Cool. Alright, let's find the script, bullet script. And let's, uh, I'm trying to think. Let's just drag it onto the, uh, the going. All right. And now we put our bullet prefab in the project onto our bullet slot. That's a rigid body. And now we need to transform 
So you do uh, where the barrel is. And how much force? So we'll start with a thousand. Push play and press spacebar. Okay, well, we're jumping, so uh, we need to change the uh, the code from spacebar to uh, just do F. Press F on the keyboard. Save it. And let's maximize the uh, maximize on play button. And now let's shoot. Oh. You are shooting uh, bullets. Not very accurately though. Probably has to do with where the uh, the barrels at. So what we're gonna do is let's create a empty game object and just call it a uh, bullet transform. And let's put it at the end of the barrel so it's not touching I think the bullets come out and it's touching this and it's making it rotate weird so let's just put it right there right in front of the barrel all right and then put this uh, drag it onto the barrel object and go back to your gun and then drag this onto your barrel end hopefully this fixes it yeah now it's shooting straight pretty cool huh And uh, that's how you shoot bullets out of a gun. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of all over the place on this video. So don't hate the video too much, but we got it working. That's what matters. So please like, subscribe, suggest other beginner videos, and uh, get in contact with me.